right fine and then one of the input of op amp should be grounded because we are comparing the input with zero zero crossing detector and the input should be connected now if i bring this input directly on the front panel of the instrument then the user may connect higher voltage to this and uh, the op amp may get damaged i think you are understanding this so it's better that we protect this input somehow and then allow the user to connect that so what we can do is uh, we can connect a resistor and uh, two diodes back to back so this voltage is limited to plus minus 700 millivolt typically everybody understanding this so op amp will be happy because it is having limited voltage limited input voltage and this voltage can be the input voltage so this is the symbol of the connector which will be appearing on the front panel of the meter correct so we have a front panel then it is connected to resistor the value of the resistor can be found out by from the current that we expect to be flowing through the diodes so it can be 10k or something like that so we'll talk about that later on but first we decide that the input should be protected as far as possible right so the first uh, uh, stage is some kind of protection simple protection and then the op amp with unipolar supply and the output is open collector so that the output is ttl so in this case if we give the input waveform now imagine that you have given say sine wave of 200 millivolts 200 millivolts sine wave now how will it look like 200 mil millivolts peak so this is 200 millivolt and this is zero so if i give this to this instrument then uh, then when the input goes uh, above zero the output will be um, switched and when the input goes below zero the output will be switched so it will create a square wave are we understanding right now this circuit has some problems we'll try to understand what problems it may cause and we need to slightly change the approach now that i'll illustrate by drawing the waveform suppose i have a clean sine wave very clean sine wave then that clean sine wave will result into clean square wave i'll draw it in yellow color it will result in clean square wave everybody understanding this right now i draw one more sine wave which is not so clean like that this may not be exactly like that let me draw it sine wave so it zero crossing has some problem zero crossings have some problems because of some reason we don't know the signal may have some noise signal may have some noise and this may cause multiple transitions here multiple square waves here correct so expected square wave is this way but it may create some complicated square wave uh, which i can show it like this so this may be the square wave having multiple transitions wherever only one transition is expected and our frequency meter will be a dumb device so it is going to count that and therefore the wrong value of frequency will be shown everybody understanding this so we have to make sure that whatever input you give clean square wave is expected which then can be given to 8051 getting the idea right so how do i give the clean uh, get the clean signal it means how do i get rid of the effect of uh, ringing near zero crossing so can you suggest something instead of zero crossing detector can we do small change in this is it possible to convert a 
zero crossing detector into a Schmitt trigger, yes or no? We may not know how to do that, but everybody knows Schmitt trigger, right. So, what is a Schmitt trigger? Does it convert any waveform into square wave, yes or no? Yes. So, and it gives clean output because it has some hysteresis, Schmitt trigger has some hysteresis. So, it will not allow the level to change frequently unless and until input reaches some level it will not change the state. So, we can design the hysteresis here and when the crossings are here there will be clean uh, change in the waveform and therefore, there will be a single transition when high to low and low to high. So, use of Schmitt trigger is recommended. Will it increase the correctness of the value? indicated value? Yes, because we are understanding the problem that the input waveform may have probably and we are taking corrective action during the design time itself. So, instead of connecting a zero crossing detector, we are slightly changing that um, by replacing the zero crossing detector by, by what? Schmidt trigger. So, um, to uh, minimize effect of noise in the info input waveform in the input waveform hmm, we we need to use we need to use Schmidt trigger trigger instead of instead of what zero crossing detector Z C D zero crossing then this then the circuit will work better it will give you give us clean square wave right so let us recapitulate the whole thing we decided to use a microcontroller 8051 then microcontroller should be there, program should be there, display should be there, power supply of course, should be there, interfacing circuitry should be there having some kind of protection. Then uh, we talked about the fundamentals, harmonics and so on and we, we, we said that our circuit is going to measure fundamental frequency and it does not care about harmonics. For example, suppose I have a sine wave and uh, it has a very small amount of high frequency noise, very small amount of high frequency noise. Suppose this is fundamental frequency is 1 kilohertz and the noise is of 10 kilohertz. Now, this extra 10 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz plus 10 kilohertz is the signal, but that 10 kilohertz will be ignored, 10 kilohertz will be ignored because 10 kilohertz is harmonic and fundamentally is 1 kilohertz. So, 1 kilohertz will be shown on the meter, because we are not designing a frequency analyzer or waveform analyzer, we are not designing that, we are not doing any Fourier analysis. Our instrument is simple and therefore, it is going to indicate only fundamental of the waveform. The nature of the waveform can be anything, it can be a sine wave, it can be a triangular wave, even if the input waveform is triangular waveform, it is going to find out the zero crossings and based on the zero crossings it is going to say that this is 1 kilohertz, this is 2 kilohertz and so on. Understanding this? Right. Right. So, how far we did that design? We have input stage almost ready. We did not replace zero crossing detector by um, Schmidt trigger, but we said that it is necessary. Right. We will do that after some time. Now, then we move our attention to microcontroller. 